All right, guys, Slow Tranquil Sense coming into you with a top 10. Now, the title is a little clickbaity, but it's also kind of like a, like a reference towards. Uh, I've seen these memes on, on forums saying, like, top 10 colognes to masturbate to, or top 10 colognes to fucking eat pizza to. And, you know, like, just making fun of, like, uh, my homeboy, man. I love you guys. I love you, man. Chaos Fragrances, man. At first, not the biggest fan, but you grew on me, brother. And I see you rise to the top, brother. And hopefully, you know, I'll make a name for myself in this uh, genre. But anyways, guys. But in all, when everything's said and done, top 10 colognes to cheat on with or to cheat with or have an affair, whatever, what a have you, right? But there's some validity to this because these are very sexy in their own right. So, top 10 uh, colognes to cheat on or cheat with okay so you know you have a girlfriend or whatever and you know you wanna you wanna test the water somewhere else maybe you're getting a little bored with with what you have now first one up would be Dior Sauvage EDT why Sauvage EDT well first of all mass appealing girls love this stuff man they go gaga over it man and the funny thing is that I saw this uh, other meme where it's like, if you see this on his countertop, Savage, uh, he's a fuckboy, right? And I noticed uh, you guys like those kind of videos, man. Like the fuckboy videos, the panty dropper videos. So I hope you guys like this video, man. So yeah, first one, Dior Savage. Crisp and raw, man. Very nice bergamot, heavy woods, heavy ambroxan on this. Uh, Last a long time, eight to ten hours, man. Becomes skin center around the ten hour, eight hour, ten hour mark, but still, all those heavy woods in the background, man. Very nice, very powerful. Girls love this. And just in case that I'm pretty sure the boyfriend's probably gonna be wearing the Or Savage, you know, the other girl's boyfriend, the probably she's cheating with, and you're gonna be all over her with the Or Savage, man. You know, the other guy won't even fucking, you know, won't suspect the thing. All right, number two will be Bulgari Man. Fresh, sophisticated, kind of like right out of the shower. It's got some citrus kind of flares, but it's not too citrusy. It's more on the woody, musky uh, musky side. Very um, nice, heavy woods on it, man. It does have a little floral. It has a floral, nice uh, floral mid, but it does have a little citrus flare here and there. But it's mostly in the fougere type of realm, man. Imagine the freshly... Uh, uh, sorry a freshly bathed man like you know, you're just coming out of the shower you just bathe man you put some cologne on this would be it man bulgarian man nice fresh clean sophisticated man keyword here is clean man so you got to clean that and make sure that it gets sucked off properly <laughs> anyways uh number three man we got tom ford's oud wood this one's got rosewood oud it's got amber in it very nice uh, medicinal oud, very nice beginner oud actually. Not very stinky, not very uh, fecal or animalic, man. This is just where it's at. Now, it does have this little fresh component, right? But it's, it's, um, it's out of the ordinary, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not too normal, and this will be very memorable, especially, man, like, if it's like right out of the blue man like you know you're with the girl you know you're just friends or whatever you have your girlfriend all of a sudden you know something's in the air and you just pop it off right then and there man and you're wearing oud wood maybe you planned it you know what i mean oud wood it's gonna be a very memorable scent and she'll never forget that man she'll never forget the scent very memorable scent all right at number whatever we got Mont Blanc Explorer. This one is supposed to be a take on Aventus, but a more designerish Aventus. It's got more Ambroxan. It doesn't have that pineapple that Aventus has, but it does have that masculine uh, base where it feels like there's like some birch in there. But um, this one goes heavier on the citrus, not as fruity. It's more on the fougere type, actually. Uh, very masculine, man. When this dries down, man. You're just going to smell like a man, like a masculine alpha man. And uh, Mont Blanc Explorer, try it out, brother. All right, the next one, man. We got Lacoste Pour Homme. Why did I pick this one, right? First of all, the bottle is clean, sexy. I love the way the silver looks. I don't have the original cap for it, but I remember the silver cap was what really captivated me about this fragrance. This one's got rum. It's got apples. It's got cinnamon. It's got vanilla. It's got a little bit of cardamom in there. Um, very nice, sweet unsuspecting you know it doesn't really smell like like you're trying to you know 
come off as anything it's just more like um a very casual laid back type of scent the rum and the apple and the cinnamon work very very nice on this fucking scent man um it does have this little powdery component to it and uh it doesn't smell as masculine but the cardamom you know keeps it there without being too feminine with the apples and the cinnamon so um this one should never know what hit her man all right next one up we got uh frederick's mosque Frederick Malls Musk Ravager. Ravager. You're going to ravish her, man. So this one, heavy on the incense, man. Very heavy incense. It's got cinnamon. It's got amber. Got some Benzoin vanillic notes into it. This one, oh, man. I love the cinnamon in this one. This one is out of the ordinary again. A bit unisex, but that incense, man, it keeps it masculine. You know what I mean? And when you smell it, for some reason, I think about fresh baked bakery type of smells but in the in the winter when you're wearing this man you're gonna be a total fucking animal with this man that incense just keeps it very the incense and the amber just keep it interesting man you're gonna have a hell of a good time and i bet you she's gonna remember this fucking smell man must grab it you're a frederick mall man i wish i had a full bottle of that now next one will be now next one it's called Diesel Bad, right? now this one i feel like it doesn't get as much love as just as it should right Every time I saw this, I thought cheap, 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 right? I would see this at Walmart and I would try it out. I mean, this one's like Invictus, right? Wearing it, having a full wearing, it really transitions into something else. Heavy on the woods. The name, like I, I say about certain colognes, but in this case, dude, the name says it all. Diesel Bad. I remember Joy Armin. I, I forgot his last name, but Joy, uh, the dude from India, the reviewer, he would say, this is just grab your girl and make out with her in the alley and just be a total fucking bad boy, fuck boy, right? And there is some truth to that, man. This is a very slutty fucking scent, man. And not a lot of people know about this, man. So take Invictus, take a little bit of YSL's Lana Wheat the Loam, and take a little femininity off like a Gucci, I'm sorry, not Gucci, Juicy Couture, like those woods. Like, this girl used to wear this fucking scent. And the base kind of has the same smell to it i'm not saying that it smells feminine at all but it smells real slutty man um it's just heavy i call them silver woods because in my head they're like real super clean man but this one very fucking slutty it has a caviar note it's a fucking made up note man but just it has like an invictus type flair but again it's just a little more slutty man now i don't know how to how else to describe it man but maybe the next cologne will you know uh make you pop into your head what i'm thinking of right now this one i don't have the bottle with me but i did have it for a while and i sold it off this the next one was called gucci guilty edt the original gucci guilty man uh at first it smells like an office type scent with a lemon type of uh, opening and um later on as it transitions the sweetness just comes out man and that's where the guilty comes in dude i think about being in an office wearing that gucci guilty edt man you having your secretary right and you just fucking get it on man you just fucking do what you gotta do man it has a very slutty feel to it because of that sweetness gives it that slutty feel but it's crazy because at first you're thinking man office scent real nice clean fucking very citrusy top nice heavy musk in the woods but that sweetness just pops up out of nowhere man and it just that's where it's, that's where the affair happens you know so gucci edt i think this one no we still got like two more to go all right next one is called d squared rocky mountain wood d squared wood it's the one you see the d squared one with the canadian maple leaf or whatever so that one i don't have a full one i don't have a full bottle of that one either but i do have a decant man now this one to me i picture being in the woods outside near a campfire and all that smoke sometimes it creeps up on your shirt maybe you're having a barbecue or something and that smoke smell is still on you imagine you're in the woods you're in the in nature you know you're with a bunch of friends or whatever you know you're you're a couple and then another couple you know you're with a bunch of friends man you're out in the woods doing manly shit chopping down trees you get all that syrup on you man you smell like woods and pines and then like night you get get your acoustic guitar you're by the campfire and that smells emanating off you right and then you're all sweaty and you're all musky because it's outside you know what i mean not saying like you smell like a homeless guy or anything like that but you know you got a little bit of man musk on you man 
and of course that sm that uh, smoke coming out it just enhances everything and then a primal thing will happen man maybe the girl is gonna smell you and then your homeboy or I, you know I'm not saying to commit adultery or do affairs with but this is what I think man so with this one man this one remake makes me think of all that stuff man so just imagine you you know just all that I just imagine and for some reason you and and the other girl and your girlfriend stays there you're you both are gonna go get something in the woods or you forgot something or you know whatever whatever stupid excuse you go out in there and there's something there and then all of a sudden da, 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 you come back D squared mountain wood man <laughs> I just figured how I'm just thinking how silly this fucking video is but you know what I mean people like that kind of shit you know what I mean the last one from my man my main man, Aaron Terrence Hughes, man. Love this dude, man. So, at first, I would have picked Aaron Terrence Hughes' original slut, man. The name says it all. Soft, clean linens, heavy musk, a skin accord. So, I don't think this is available. But the next one that comes up to mind that smells almost just like slut will be Alpha Man, man. Alpha Man's got that clean musk. It's got that uh, clean linen scent for some reason. It smells like of something that I've smelled before. The original slut, when I first uh, introduced it or talked about it, uh, I was saying how it reminds you of being like in a high tower and you're making business decisions and you you just came up on a limo. Think about like a Donald Trump wearing like a trench coat or a Donald Trump type and just signing papers and everything. And that's what I think when I smelled the original slut and when I re when I smelled Alpha Man. It's nearly identical to slut, man. So, um, this one, the same thing, man. Just being in a high rise, being nice, sophisticated with a bunch of money. I'm talking about like millionaire, billionaire money. You have the pick of the, you know, you have a whole fucking bunch of women to pick from, man. So your wife is at home, you're doing some business deals or whatever. And you know, whatever happens in the office happens in the office. So. That will be the last one, man. I hope you guys like my picks, man. Let me know if you ever cheated on someone and were wearing a special scent. I mean, a certain scent. And um, if it stuck out to you and if you remember that. Let me know in the comments, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how crappy this video was, man. I just... Uh, I'm running out of ideas, guys. <laughs> but anyways, it was just a clickbaity type, you know. And it's making fun of, like, top 10 to fucking do this and do that with you know what i mean top 10 colognes to bird watch but anyways guys slow train go sense man i'm here to stay 25 sprays and up my hashtag team over spray party people party girls party boys cool guys cool girls i'll see you guys on the next man like comment and subscribe and all that youtube bullshit and i'll see you guys on the next